What childhood experiences have been most fundamental to shaping who you are today? I think that um, I was very close to both my sets of grandparents. Um, on my mother's side, it's a big Lebanese family, so it's lots of food and lots of family and lots of cousins. Fifth removed, but they're still a cousin. Uh, and I think that, so for me, it was holidays and good times and hard times. The family always came together, and you realize that you know, whenever anything great was achieved or any, any, you know, the passing of a grandparent, anything that was, was hard to get through, it was really about the family coming together and the community supporting each other. And, you know, I was just talking to my mother about this last night. We were talking about her parents when they passed and, and when we were going through the last year with them um, where we had to have in-home, you know, nurses 24-7 and these these women came into our home and they were like angels. And, you know, I... I was 10, but I have a very vivid memory of that year, um, was the year that I lost um, both my grandparents on my mother's side. And I, although it was a difficult year, I have so many warm memories and so many memories of my family coming together. And I think that as I am older and as I'm looking at, at my own family now and I look at um, my family and work and uh, anything that I have achieved, it's only because of, of the people and the community that surrounds you and that supports you and that brings you into their fold. And, uh, you know, I just think that that appreciation of community and family is something that I continue to strengthen and understand and appreciate every year. So that's what's on top of my mind right now. <laughs>